Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Before we get started, click that like button, turn on notifications, give all a huge thumbs up. Good morning, friends. My name is Ina Irby, and I'm a mom. Courage to change. September 7th. I never thought much about Tradition 7, which says that every group ought to be fully self-supporting. I thought it referred only to paying the rent. But recently I was involved with a group that maintained itself financially and still was not fully self-supporting because no one would commit to service. I already held several positions and when my various terms expired, no one was willing to take my place. I made what felt like the responsible choice for myself and stepped down anyway. The meeting closed. In my opinion, a group that cannot fill its service positions is not fully self-supporting. Today, in other more flourishing groups, I have a greater appreciation of my responsibility to this tradition. I believe that as we nurture our groups, we nurture and empower ourselves. We can make a contribution. We can make choices that help us to allow healing in ourselves and others. Today's reminder. There's more to maintaining a fully self-supporting Al-Anon group than just paying the rent. Continuity of service is important to our common welfare. Today, I will think about the contribution I am making to my home group. The quote is from Alateen, a day at a time, quote, I can support my group in a number of ways. When the basket is passed, I can give what I can, just as important. I can give my time and moral support to help make ours the kind of group I want to belong to." End quote. I'll read that again. I can support my group in a number of ways. When the basket is passed, I can give what I can. Just as important, I can give my time and moral support to help make ours the kind of group I want to belong to. Courage to change. Affirmations for the inner child. It's on emotions. I pay attention to my feelings. I need to pay attention to my feelings instead of cutting them off. It's important for me to take my feelings seriously. Am I sad, happy, yearning, angry? As a child, I was taught to deny my feelings. My anger was bad. It might hurt someone. I shouldn't be too happy. I might be disappointed. Don't be sad. Think of something nice. Constantly bombarded by messages to deny, I found it easier and safer to shut off my feelings than to explore them. Now there is a big part of me that I don't know or understand. Paying attention to my feelings can help me open that door. My emotions are fluid and they lead me inward to the source of my wisdom and power. Affirmations for the inner child. I hope this helps you on your healing journey, friends. Follow your bliss and be good humans.